Last year for me was my worst year, unfortunately. Falling in the semi-finals was a definitely a disappointing result. That is a major shock in this competition. Look, hands down, Olivia beat me last year. She hits the buzzer! And I'm totally fine with that, to be honest. Maybe it hurt me a little bit. But she's an Olympic gymnast. She knows how to deal with pressure, and I can learn a lot from her. I think a lot of people's perception is that Olivia and I are kind of going back and forth, um, throwing punches at each other in the training ground. But the reality is we are super supportive. There's certain, maybe certainly times where she um, wanted to kind of throw a little cheeky comment here and there, go, oh, I beat you last year. Hey, look, I'll take those punches, it's fine. If I want to win and become the Australian Ninja Warrior, then I have to train harder, stay focused. He's ready this year. Ben is looking super strong. He's mentally focused. I truly believe in his capabilities. I want to make it to the top of Mount Midoriyama. I'm not afraid to say that. I really do want to hit that buzzer and overlook Melbourne City and just be super stoked. Crowds cheering. Uh, I'm looking forward to that moment. Maybe it's Ben Paulson. Girlfriend Olivia Vivian on the side will be competing later. Remember last year, Olivia got further than Ben. She got to the grand final. Ben Paulson will be desperate to put the record straight this time round. Ben Paulson, not only does he see himself up the warped wall, he sees himself, Shane Crawford, at the top of Mount Midoriyama with $400,000 in his pocket. That's what this means for Ben Paulson. He can do this. He's got everything it takes to do it. OK. This is his chance to book his place. Olivia Vivian is yet to run. Here comes Ben Paulson. Watch closely, because this bloke will absolutely bolt through the course. He's done the quintuple steps many times before, and already he is onto the TikTok, and he is flying. He's absolutely airborne. He's not worried about anything. Got amazing confidence the way he's attacking it. And you've got to remember, he's 196 centimetres and 85 kilos. He is a very big man for this course. Watch this. Here he comes on the Bridge of Blades. Won't give it a second thought. One, two, three, straight through. So that's three down, three to go. And now the doorknob drop. Can Ben carry that large frame across 16 knobs? Using the massive arms, long reach. Ben Paulson, our tallest ninja at six foot five. And he's slowing his pace right up. Yeah, he's made some silly mistakes in the past, so he wants to make sure that he can get through this without any of them. You got this. Now it's time for the transition. He makes it. Good boy, Ben. Just starting to take its toll a little bit now. Concentrating so hard. Eyes fixed on each of the doorknobs. Go, Ben Paulson. He's pulling himself up, feeling the burn. It takes so much gas out of you, but he's grinding his way through this. There we go. He's off. Give him a round of applause. Yes, Ben. The first ninja to successfully make it past the doorknob drop tonight. Great stuff from Ben Paulson. And now we've got a ninja taking on the flying shelf grab. So hand fatigue is massive here. You have to go over 2.2 metres each one. And this is really going to test it. And the middle shelf is 20 centimetres higher than the first and the third. So he's actually got to lift up higher here to grab the second shelf. But look how big the bloke is. Look oh, at the muscles. Look good. at the focus. And see the way he grabs on at the front and then he works his hands now around to the oh. side. Oh, look at that control. Now watch Don't this. Don't worry about that. Ben Paulson goes up the wall. He's done it. Yeah! Oh. Ben Paulson looks up at the power tower and says, here I come. Absolute superstar, absolutely crushed that. Ben Paulson, you legend.